Okay, we are live. All right. Hello, everybody. This is Prophet for God One coming at you with another brief and detailed video. Okay, today I'm being led of the Spirit, and I got a scripture, you know, what God had put in my spirit, and this is concerning Daryl Larson. And I'm going to be talking about, you know, as I viewed his videos, he, you know, I'm going to reveal two things to you, you know. And um, I'm going to be telling you why I think that, uh, you know, Daryl Larson has a lying spirit, you know, because, you know, in the book of First John chapter 4 and verses 1, it clearly tells you, you know, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits and see whether they be of God, because God warns us all that there are many false prophets going out into the land. And, um, there are false prophets going out misleading people. There are false prophets going out and bringing you other doctrines. And um, there are false prophets, you know, you know, telling lies. And uh, there are false prophets going out and tell, telling you false prophecies. And you know, you know, lying spirits that you know that could deceive you. Even Jesus said, you know, you know, there shall arise false prophets and false Christ. You know, if it be, you know, if it be possible. They, they can fool the very elect. So, without without further ado, let me pray before I get into this message. All right. Heavenly Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just want to say thank you, Lord, for grace and mercy. Lord, thank you for being a merciful God, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the early morning rise up out of bed, the activation of my limbs. When I woke up this morning, I was closed in my right mind. And for that, I just want to say thank you right now, Lord. Lord, you showed me that the minute I laid my head down that my time could have been up. But, Lord, you gave me grace instead. And for that, I just want to say thank you right now, Lord. Thank you for grace and also thank you for mercy right now, Lord. And, Lord, as I continue Lord, to pray this prayer right now, Father, I pray, Lord, that as I deliver your message on today right now, Lord. Hide me behind the foot of the cross. Never let the people see me. But, Lord, Lord, let them hear you ringing through my voice right now, Lord. And, Lord, for you alone. You get the glory, the honor, the praise, because all the glory and the honor, Father God, rightfully belongs to you right now, Father. Lord, so I quietly deny myself before the throne because it is all about you and not about me right now, Lord. Lord, I pray right now, Father, that you will begin to give me the words to speak unto your people right now, Lord. Because I do know that it's the Holy Ghost that gives me the Father God that gives me the words right now, Lord. And Lord, I know I, and, and Lord, I do know right now, Father, that these words only come from heaven right now, Father. In the name of Jesus right now, Lord. Lord, I continue Lord, to pray this prayer. I rebuke Lord not by the hands of the devil. And I just plead the blood of Jesus right now, Father, over this message. Though anything that may try to detour me off or bring distraction to me all right now, Father, off the word today, right now, Lord. For us in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Today I'm going to talk to you about 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4 and verses 1. Now, the Bible says, it clearly says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits and see whether they be of God. You know, now, in, this, in these days and time, you know, we got people that are led by the Holy Spirit. You know, and how many people know that the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost and what God has shown you does not lie. But then we have what you call lying spirits, you know, lying spirits, people, you know, who have lying spirits, you know, and uh, people who claim to hear from God, you know, could I know that not every voice, not every voice come from the Lord, not every voice come from God. And how do you know that that voice come not from God? Because if you pray about it and, you know, and you don't get an answer, I wouldn't move on anything until you get an answer from God. But if God reveals something to you and he shows you the confirmation behind the words, you know, then I can clearly say that that word comes from God because God give, well, gives you the word first and then he gives you the confirmation. And then third, he gives you the manifestation behind the word by bringing it to pass. Now, now here we have what you call Daryl Larson. And I want to talk to you about, about how all of these uh, so-called Christians, these, these Christians, and um. I'm going to bring to you one person today, and that is Obama. Now, please note that I'm not a Democrat or n neither that I am a Republican, you know, because, you know, because I, I believe that both sides are extremely wicked, you know. 
They're extremely wicked. One side supports homosexuality and the other side supports racism, you know, you know, because both sides are extremely wicked. You know, I'm in the middle because I stand on the truth and that truth is what Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. He said, no man comes unto the Father but by him. You know, and um, how many people know that politics, it creates a division among the Christians. You know, politics is of the devil. It's a tool of the devil. And it creates separation, you know. And God is a God of unity and not of separation. And he's not the author of confusion, but of peace. So... I said in my previous video that politics have no business in the church. It has no business in the church because it creates separation. Even Paul, Paul, when he went down to correct the church and the people were bringing genealogy in the church, right? He had to go down and correct them because it had nothing to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Just like now, politics has nothing to do with the, with the gospel of Jesus Christ. It has nothing to do with it, you know? It don't bring salvation. It just brings separation and fights among the believers. You know how the Republicans do and you know how the Democrats do. They fight amongst each other. Because the Bible says if a, if a house is divided, then how can it stand? Satan cannot cast out Satan, right? So you got to know that the politics is a tool of the devil and it has no business in the church. Now, today, we're... We're talking about 1 John chapter 4 and verses 1. When the Bible says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit and see whether they be of God. So now we're going to talk about how people a few years back, including, you know, Daryl Larson, and he made a confession. Now, he, he made a confession that Obama is the Antichrist. Now, if you're looking on if you look at YouTube, right? YouTube is full of videos. Full of videos on YouTube. Full of them. Claiming that the Holy Spirit revealed to them that Obama is the Antichrist. Or the Holy Spirit revealed to him that, you know, that he that you know they had dreams and visions and all this other stuff. And they claiming that the you know Holy Ghost, I mean or or the Holy Spirit showed them that. And Daryl Larson, he made a confession a few years back that Obama was considered the Antichrist. Now, if you look at all these videos, right? If you look at all these videos, yeah. If you, if you look at all these videos, you will find all of these videos, they claim that Obama was the Antichrist. He was the Antichrist, right? Now, when Obama or or they claiming I'm 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 just gonna say what I heard, or they they claiming that Donald I mean that Obama was gonna be the last president you know of the United States. These people you know these people claim that right, but let me tell you something. It's either a lying spirit, or it's the Holy Ghost, and I dealt with the Holy Ghost. I dealt with the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit does not lie. It doesn't tell you lies. Just like God, he don't tell you lies. Because God is not like man that he should lie, neither that he the son of man that he shall repent, right? Because God doesn't lie. Because he always brings things to pass. And how do you know that the that, that spirit is a lying spirit? Because it doesn't come to pass. Just like some of these other people. If you look at YouTube, right? If you look at YouTube. Look at YouTube for a minute. Look at all the videos they made about Obama. Now, I'm not about Obama supporter because, you know, he signed gay rights in the law. And and people are so worked up about that. Oh, my God. He signed oh, oh, gay rights in the law. Because what did Jesus say? What did Jesus say? Jesus said it shall be in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Because the Bible is slowly speaking up for itself. These things must happen so that the scriptures might be fulfilled. In the last days. So, so many Christians are so worked up about it. But I'm not worried about it because it, it was already spoken by Christ. He said, it shall be in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. We, we're clearly living in the last days and everybody's so upright about it. 
I'm not over right back because I knew it was going to happen in the first place. But here we have, here we have Daryl Lawson and some of these other people that claiming that God showed them that Obama was the Antichrist. Now, if God showed them that, how come it didn't come to pass? How come none of this stuff came to pass? You know, if you look at YouTube, it's full of videos made about Obama. Man, everything is about Obama. Yeah, everything is about Obama. Obama this, Obama that. Obama's the Antichrist. Obama, you know, it's the devil. Obama this and that. Obama is the Antichrist. But how come it didn't come to pass like God has showed you that? How come it didn't come to pass? Daryl Larson, how come it didn't come to pass? You're right. How come it, you know, it didn't come to pass like... You know, as God has showed you that. Because if, if the truth be told, you never heard from God. You never heard from Him. You have never heard from the Lord. And that's the truth. All these other people that's coming up online, if you look at YouTube now, it's full of Obama videos. It's full of people that claiming that Obama was the Antichrist. He was the Antichrist. But how come it didn't come to pass? I'm listening at what the book of 1 John chapter 4 and verses 1. He said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits and see whether they be of God. Because there are what? Many false prophets going out into the world. Deceiving people. And here you have the now people, you know, that claim that, you know, that Obama was the Antichrist. How come it didn't come to pass? Praise God for the Christians that, you know, that that that, that have their eyes open. You know, and, 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 and that can can discern what comes from God and what doesn't come from God. Because if God were to show you that, how come it didn't come to pass as God has showed you? Because God don't share his glory with nobody. He reveals his secrets unto the ser unto his servants, the prophets. That's what people don't understand anymore. They don't understand that. You know, they're so quickly being deceived. They're quickly being deceived, you know, because they write, they can't rightfully discern what is coming from God, what ain't coming from God. And how do you know this, that that thing is coming from God? You go into prayer about it. Consult God about it. And if God show you the confirmation and give you that confirmation, I can clearly say that the word is coming from the Lord. But some of the stuff that these people be speaking, and if you look at, if you look at the videos on YouTube, you hear the whole world talk about Obama, that he is the Antichrist. But how come, how come none of that stuff ever came to pass? How come none of that stuff come to pass? Because it didn't. Now here we have people like Daryl Lawson. You know, he said he confessed in this video that Obama was the Antichrist. Plenty of people have came out and said Obama was the Antichrist. But it never came to pass. Now, I'm going to tell you about the other stuff that Daryl Lawson had told me. You know, it doesn't bother me because I don't been called false prophet. I don't mean called a girl. I don't mean called a lot of names by these what, what, what so-called Christians. But the stuff that Daryl Dar Larson said to me, it, you know, it didn't bother me, but it, it, it shows me who he really is. Because instead of going, you know, going on my channel to see whether or not I'm a man or a girl, you know, he just, you know, told a lie on me. Talking about he might be a girl. But, but how do you know that I'm not a man? Because you didn't go on my video and check me out. You see... The stuff that they tell me, the stuff that they tell me, you know, that, and, and, and that they tell other people, you know, the stuff that they tell you, right, is unchristian-like when they call your names. And then the other thing that he called me what was a false prophet. Well, call me everything but a child of God. Because I'm going to tell you something, man. And then he told another lie on me. And, 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 and this is another false lie. 
He's talking about, uh, you know, God doesn't use the name prophet. No, whoever said that I glorified myself as a prophet, you know, because my title don't mean anything to me. So three things that you don't told lies on me, uh, Daryl Larson. You don't told me that I was a girl. You don't told me that I was a false prophet. And third, you don't claim that, that I was, you know, glorify my name as a prophet. Let me tell you something. You know, I don't glorify I don't glorify my name as a prophet because the prophet or the title doesn't doesn't mean anything to me. You know, because God gets the glory out of everything. He gets the glory out of me. Because let me, let me tell you something, before I take God's glory, I would rather die. You know, because it because it's not even about my title. All your gifts and your talents are meant to glorify God. So this is what Daryl Larson said to me. Now, does it bother me? No, it doesn't really bother me. You know, because I've been called names before. You know, I don't been attacked by Trump supporters before. You know, I don't been called everything out of the book. But let me tell you something. When Jesus, you know, was standing before the Pharisees and the people that, you know, 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 were attacking him. They were saying to Jesus that he got his power from Beelzebub, right? You, you know, because they called Jesus the devil too. And just like now. And these days, they would rather listen to the false prophet more than they listen to the people who are really sent by God. More than the people who are really sent by the Lord. You know, just like now. People in Jeremiah's day, they believe that they believe the false prophet before they can even believe Jeremiah. When Jeremiah said that judgment was going to come to Israel, but the false prophet said, oh man, judgment would not come to Israel. You know, they listened to what the false prophet said more than they listened to Jeremiah who was sent. And when Jesus was standing before trial, right, and Barabbas was there, you know, and Barabbas was there. They chose Barabbas, you know, to be free more than Jesus. Just like now, they choose, you know, Caesar before they can even choose Jesus, right? And this is what you're seeing today. People are disowning Jesus, but they're accepting Caesar. People are disowning Jesus, but they're accepting Caesar. But this is what people don't understand anymore. We're living in the, in, in the last days to when false prophets are on the rise. We're living in the days to when they throw off the prophets who are, who are sent by God, throw off the men of God who are sent by God, but they believe the false prophets. They believe the false prophets and what they told you, that Donald Trump was anointed, that he has been sent by the Lord, or Donald Trump is God's right hand man, or he's the trumpet of God, or he is the one that is, is here to save America, or he is the one that is, you know, when Donald Trump comes in office, I don't heard this by Paula White, that they're going to they, they be a great prosperity come over America. All of these lies that these false prophets tell, right? It has nothing to do with the, with the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, the stuff that God showed me. It came to pass. God told me in 2016 there will be a man, actually 2014, April 23rd, that there will be a man coming. And his heart was going to be full of wickedness and full of evil. He was not going to be the Antichrist, but a forerunner for the Antichrist. Donald Trump is the door that leads to the Antichrist. He he's preparing the way. Why do you think that they they minted coins after him? Right? It's got a picture of King Cyrus. And Donald Trump, and then a third on a, and then on the back. If you look it up, it's got the back on, on the back of the coin. It's, it's got the third temple. Why do you think that you know that, that these you know the Sanhedrin Council is planning on rebuilding the third temple? If he's not here to usher in the in the Antichrist, if he's not here to usher, then why is all of this stuff happening? Why do you think that Donald Trump made in you know Israel you know made Jerusalem as the capital? And then you see all this stuff come to pass. It seems like what God showed me has clearly come to pass. Because you see what's happening in Israel. You see the, you know, the, 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 uh, the coins minted after his name. And then you see the third temple 
about to be rebuilt. You see all this stuff happening. But as far as Daryl Larson goes, and when he went to calling me names, I was like thinking. I said, does he have a lying spirit in him? Because let me tell you something. You know, calling somebody a girl when they really, really born a man, I said, man, he has a lying spirit. Calling me a false prophet. You know, calling me all these things when you don't lie and say that, that Obama was the Antichrist. And the stuff that you to told us over the years, you were wrong. That makes you a false prophet. Calling somebody that, you know, glorifies, I mean, lying on me and said I glorify my title as a prophet, you know. Number one, you don't even know me. You don't even know my relationship with Jesus Christ at all. I don't glorify myself as a prophet because my, the title don't mean anything. It don't mean anything to me. It doesn't mean anything to me. Now, people who use their titles to glorify themselves in things, you know, those are the people that try to take God's glory. Me, before I take God's glory, I would rather die. And I would rather be buried six feet deep. It doesn't bother me, but it three things that came to my spirit about that. And I said, this man has a lying spirit. He has a lying spirit. And so of all these people that follow Trump and, they, and these so-called Christians, they're walking in deception. They're walking in deception. And they're standing with a wicked man that tells lies and that blasphemed them. You know, you know, that says God names in vain. You you heard his rallies. When he said, you know, the Lord's name in vain. And these Christians are, are clapping and, you know, they're clapping their hands. And they're joining hands with the wicked man. This is what people are doing. They're joining hands with the wicked man. They're joining hands with the wicked man. This is what they're doing. They're joining hands with the wicked man. You know, and I believe if you're standing with the wicked man and you're clapping hands with the wicked man, then you become a partaker in that person's sin. The Lord had revealed this thing to me. April 23rd, 2014. And it wasn't a lie because it came to pass. It came to pass about Donald Trump or about who he is. And everybody that claimed that he's been sent by God and he's the trumpet of God or he's God right hand man or he here to save the nation of America he, or, or, or he here be, uh, to bring prosperity to modern America. God never sent this man. He never sent him. But what did God say about, you know, what did the, what did the scripture say? He shall send them what? Strong delusions to cause them to believe the lie. Causing them to believe that lie. It's crazy. But here we have a here we have somebody, you know, who comes online, Daryl Larson. I ain't I ain't talking about man. I hope he gets delivered. I hope he repents of the things that he said. He repents of things, you know. Or or, or I pray to God that he, you know, he, he comes to the knowledge of the truth and his eyes become open. This is not a talk about, this is, this is a correction. He just, you know, bear false witness against me. Three things. Don't know me from anything. Judging me because I say I'm a prophet. I'm not, a, I'm not just a prophet by, you know, by my own hand. Because it's not even about the title. The title don't mean nothing to me. You can be a prophet or, or self-proclaimed prophet and still bust hell wide open. But all Daryl Lawson talk about is politics on this on his channel. He he glorifies Trump and he's an idol worshiper. And this is what these people do. If you look on YouTube, you see videos full of Obama videos. You see all of this stuff about Obama. But it's on the view. 
It, and now, if you look up the word Trump and Antichrist, you see very only a few people are talking about it. How is that so? How is that, you know, how is that so that everybody can talk about Obama and, and they can be wrong about it, but nobody's making a video about Donald Trump. Nobody's calling him the Antichrist. He's showing signs of it. The Bible said there shall arise many Antichrists. Donald Trump may have the spirit of the Antichrist, but he's, you know, not the Antichrist. But he's here to usher in the Antichrist. He's here to open the door to it. It's a shame. We have deception in America. We have people that are blind. They call themselves Christians. We have people shaking hands with the wicked man. And clapping their hands. Donald Trump says in his speech. The Lord's name is vain. Nobody, hold, nobody holds him accountable. But they want to pray. They want to pray for the Donald Trump. Oh the Bible says. That we ought to pray for. Yeah you're right. Pray for the leaders. But it doesn't mean that you should pray. For the leader to be blessed. You should pray for Donald Trump to get the devil out of him because that's what he is. He's full of the devil. He's full of deception. Full of lies. Doesn't make any sense. But you want to call Obama the Antichrist. Nobody making a video about Donald Trump now. Notice how that... I mean, if, if you go to... I want everybody to go on YouTube. And look at how many videos they done made about Obama. But look at the videos that nobody make it about Trump anymore. Nobody called him the Antichrist. Only very few people can see right that. I mean, can can are making videos, and that's Brother James. And that's a, a few Christians that I know that can see right through Donald Trump's lies. Who can see right through what the prophet said, false prophet said. But praise God for the ones who who have their eyes open, who are, who are looking out for the devil. Praise God for the ones who are awake. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say about Jesus, what he said in the scriptures? He says, my sheep know my voice, and the voice of a stranger they will not follow. Praise God. For the ones who hear the true voice. Not the voice of the liar. Or not the voice of a stranger. But you see what I'm saying people? It don't make no sense. It doesn't make any sense. So I'm in the book of 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4 and verses 1. Christians. Are being deceived because. They don't know how to use discernment. They don't know, you know, what's coming from God and what's not coming from God, because they not they don't have the discernment. You know, they're being moved by every wind of doctrine. They're being thrown off about what the false prophets are saying because you know because they are pastors. Anybody can be a pastor. Anybody can be a, you know a self-proclaimed prophet. Anybody can use that word, but still deceive you. Anybody can do that. Anybody can get a license to open up a church. Anybody can call themselves a pastor, but but are not anointed. Anybody can do that. But yet people would rather hear lies. They would rather hear feel-good messages. And not the truth anymore. Just like the false prophets when they spoke against Jeremiah. God sent Jeremiah. But the people fought up against him. Jeremiah said that judgment was going to come to the land. But the false prophets say that judgment would not come to the land. And this is what got the people in trouble. Because they listened to the false prophets more than they wanted to hear from the real prophet that was sent. And that was Jeremiah. God told Jeremiah, they shall fight up against you, but they shall not prevail because God's word is going to prevail. 
I don't give a care how many people fight up against God's word. His, his word is going to stand. It's going to stand forevermore. It's going to stand forevermore. Because God showed you three things. His word, the confirmation, and the manifestation. That means he has the power to bring everything he told you to pass. Even as he showed me April 23rd, 2014 concerning Donald Trump. And this is not a lie because this is real. I posted a video about it. Nobody seemed to believe me. Because they would rather hear a lie than the truth. The truth is that, that Jesus Christ is coming back to judge. And who is and who is he gonna judge first? He gonna judge the church first. And then the sinner. Then the one who who, who rejected the gospel of Jesus Christ. Judgment gonna come to the house of God first. And then he's gonna begin to deal with the sinner and the ones who rejected the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's gonna begin with us first. It's gonna begin with the church first. And then it's going to begin with the ones who who rejected the gospel of Jesus Christ. He going to be hey, hey he going to deal with the sinners later, but he going to deal with his church first. And and then he going to separate the sheep from the goat, the hypocrites from the saints. This is what people don't understand anymore. This is not our home. We're not here to stay. Our treasure is not on earth, but it's in heaven. I'm going to tell you something, Daryl Larson. The Lord going to deal kindly with you. He going to deal kindly with you. And I hope and I pray that you repent. And he open your eyes up to the real truth. And the truth is Jesus Christ. Not a president, not politics, but Jesus Christ. It's about the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's about what he done for us on the cross. And he died for the sins of the world. He died so that mankind can be redeemed back from, to God. And he was the bridge gap. He died not for just one race, but for all races. To know what he done for them on the cross. Darren Larson, I hope you're listening. I'm praying for you, brother, that you get back to preaching the real gospel of Jesus Christ and turn away from politics and, and, and also your idol. I'm praying that you repent and get your life right before it gets too late for you. And I pray for the, all the Donald Trump supporters to come to the knowledge of the truth and turn away from this false vision. Turn away from politics. Turn away from, you know, you know, the lying behind Donald Trump. And turn back to the gospel. Of Jesus Christ. The true gospel. Preach that souls can be saved. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, that, that is the end of my video. And I hope everybody has a blessed day. And um, I'm going to pray out before I finish, you know, before I end this video. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I, Lord, I just want to say thank you because, because it's an honor to be used by you, Lord. For you alone, you get the glory, the honor, the praise. I pray that this video will help somebody right now, Lord. Father God, who has been lost in politics, I pray that you will turn them back to the gospel of Jesus Christ, Lord. The true gospel, Lord. That what you've done for them on the cross in the sins of the world, Lord. So that the world might just be saved right now, Lord. And Lord, you said right now, Lord, in John 3, Father God, 3, 17. For, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but through him that you might be saved, Lord. And Lord, it's a choice right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus right now, Lord. Lord, you're not looking for puppets, Lord. But Lord, you're looking for willing vessels right now, Lord. And Lord, I pray 
right now, Father, for there were lost on the right now, Lord, that you will open up his eyes to the knowledge of the truth right now, Lord. The truth is not in politics, Lord. It's not in the present, but, Lord, the truth is in Jesus Christ right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now, Father, for every last Donald Trump supporter right now, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you begin to open up their eyes to the truth right now, Lord. And, Lord, I pray right now, Father, Father God, for those who are lost, Lord, I pray, Lord, that they will be found right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for, Lord, I pray the prayer of salvation over their life right now, Lord. Even now, right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray right now, Father, for those who are not saved right now, Lord. I pray right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, Lord, the prayer of salvation, Lord. I pray, Lord, that they will have it made up in their mind, Lord, to give their life over to you right now, Lord. Lord, you're not looking for puppets, Lord, but, Lord, you're looking for willing vessels, Lord. Lord, you said, Father God, who, let whosoever will, let them come right now, Lord. And, Lord, it's a choice of out of every day right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus right now, Lord. And, Lord, as I continue, Lord, to pray this prayer right now, Father. For us in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, God bless everybody right now, Lord. And I pray that everybody will have a blessed and wonderful evening. Have a blessed day.